Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercomedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So recently, most if not all of the attention of the Dokkan community has been on the JP side of the game and it's kind of understandable considering it's their five year anniversary. It's a very, very exciting time. And let's be honest, those LR Super Saiyan Blues are just insane, both from a aesthetic perspective, just how they look, but also from a performance perspective, right? They're just crazy, crazy units. But at the end of the day, this is still a global focused channel. And as such, we got to show some love to the global side of the game in this video. So we're going to be talking about the next upcoming celebration on global, which is starting in about two to three days depending on when you're watching this video and it will be for the int future gohan now i know not a lot of people are that excited for him uh, i think most people honestly are going to skip the banner but there's still a lot of stuff that's coming with the celebration aside from the banner that i think is worth you know paying attention to and uh honestly just basically content that we can actually grind and work on which is something we've been missing on the global side for uh, quite some quite some time now. So uh, yeah, lots of stuff to talk about, lots of stuff to cover in this video. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now, we're on DBZ Space, and these are all the characters that are coming with the upcoming celebration. Of course, we do have the main man right here, the Int Future Gohan. Like I said, most people probably are gonna be skipping him and I get it man I get it we still got the STR cooler and then you guys already saw the LR Super Saiyan Blue Goku or sorry Gogeta and Vegito's and they're just insane man like I wouldn't blame anybody for wanting to save your stones for them because they're definitely worth it but uh, we'll go over the details for the Gohan and I gotta say he's actually quite good and we also have a new trunks here that's coming with the banner and he goes super saiyan i hate this art i feel like he has one of the worst arts in the game for a summonable unit but uh, that being said he is a good unit as well um we're getting a lot of trunks recently i don't really know what that is all about there's someone at bandai clearly that loves trunks and i'm okay with it but it's just like a little bit weird and uh, we also have some new free to play characters so a new future android 17 a new future 18. I love this art, guys. I love this art. She has a really good animation, too. And uh, you know, this girl is getting rainbowed like immediately when it drops. And we also have the awakening for the old SR future Gohan right here. So, those are all the new characters. And uh, let's get started with a full breakdown here of the future Gohan. He is a dual category leader, Bond of Master and Disciple, or Hybrid Saiyans. The first new Hybrid Saiyans leader since STR Future, or no, STR Ultimate Gohan, who I'm really not a big fan of. I know a lot of people don't like him either, so if you want a replacement for that category as far as a leader goes, this, this is it. This is it. And he, he definitely is a way better leader than the Ultimate Gohan. So these two categories, key plus 3, HP and attack plus 170%, and defense plus 130%. His super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and his passive is attack and defense plus 100%, reduces damage received by 58% when HP is 58% or less, and bond of master and disciple categories uh, key plus one or category allies, key plus one and attack and defense plus 30% transforms when conditions are met. So, um, I mean, he does a little bit of everything. He can do some damage. He can tank, especially after you fall below 58% HP. 58% uh, damage reduction is really, really high. So once you fall below 58% HP, he's not going to be taking much damage at all and he's also a support unit giving his own category key plus one and attack and defense plus 30 percent which is a fantastic support buff and also of course he does transform so his transformation conditions are uh, he'll transform when hp is 58 percent or more with an ally whose name includes trunks but not including kid or gt on the team starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle so uh, a few things here basically 
HP restriction, but you have to be above 58%, so pretty easy to meet. Uh, you have to have a Trunks on your team. Both of his categories will include lots of Trunkses, so um, if you want him to transform, it shouldn't be that bad. And of course, a turn restriction of four turns or more. Uh, so, I mean, overall, I would say this is like midway between the Int Cell and AGL Gohan conditions and the Tech Trunks and AGL Zamasu conditions. So those ones are really easy to meet. The Gohan and Cell, really hard to meet. This one's like kind of in between, you know, there's like a few restrictions, but still overall, not anywhere close to the worst that we've seen, right? And his links are all in the family, Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, no Super Saiyan, my bad, Cold Judgment, Experienced Fighters, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. His categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Transformation Boost, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Android slash Cell Saga, and Bond of Master and Disciple. And then once he transforms into Super Saiyan Future Gohan, his super attack will raise attack and cause immense damage. His passive is attack plus 100%, reduces damage received by 58%, unconditional this time, so you don't have to be below a certain HP level. Key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 30% per bond of master and disciple category ally attacking in the same turn, and launches an additional super attack when there is an android category enemy. So this guy no longer, once he transforms, um, supports the allies, but he does support himself, I guess, a lot more, and uh, he can do a lot more damage in this state. And of course, if you're fighting an androids category enemy, he'll have two guaranteed supers per turn, with the possibility of a third one with a dupe in him. And also, his links will change, he will get Super Saiyan this time, and also Golden Warrior, and everything else pretty much stays the same. So as I said, man, this guy is actually a really, really good unit. It's just the sad reality is that as a character, I don't think he's nearly as hype as uh, things that are coming up later. And, you know, he even though he's good, he's not as good as the STR transforming cooler. His, you know, animations are not as exciting, not as hype as the coolers. And of course, he's nowhere near as hype as the LR Super Saiyan Blues. For most people, but if you're one of those people that loves Gohan, then I would say still go for it, man. Like, he's still a really, really good unit to have in your collection. So that's the Gohan right there. We're gonna move on to the Trunks here. I'm not gonna spend too much time on him. He is a Bond of Master and Disciple, Category Leader, Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%. His Super Attack greatly raises attack for one turn, Attack and Defense for one turn, and causes Supreme Damage. And his passive is Attack and Defense plus 100%, Key plus 3, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 70% when there's an ally whose name includes Gohan Future on the team, plus an additional Key plus 6, and performs a critical hit when there is an Android category enemy, plus an additional 70% attack when facing an enemy whose name includes Cell. So we've, we're getting a lot of these units where um, there's like different stages to their passive, and if you uh, fulfill you know like a bunch of them, then they get this super super crazy buff. But even if you fulfill just a few of them, so let's say for example, uh, for this guy, you only have the future Gohan on your team, he's still getting Key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 170%, which is very significant. And then obviously if you have the other conditions as well, like facing an android's enemy, he'll get guaranteed criticals and he'll get an additional key plus 6 and then 70% more attack when facing a cell. So uh, yeah, he can be really, really good, but you don't have to have all the conditions met for him to be very much usable. And his links are Royal Lineage, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Cold Judgment, Messenger from the Future, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Android slash Cell Saga, and Bond of Master and Disciple. So overall, very good unit right there, coming with the Int Future Gohan banner. And let's move on to the free-to-play characters now. So this um, Future Gohan slash Trunks uh, story event is actually getting a revamp, so essentially it's going to be reset, the stages are going to be changed a little bit, they're adding these two new free-to-play androids, the Awakening for the Fizz Gohan, and uh, also a few other changes as, as far as like the drops go and stuff like that, but uh, the good thing is that everybody that ran this stage before or ran this event before and got all the stones can re-clear it for all the stones again, and in total we're looking at 24 free stones from the stages alone, and then on top of that, we get two more stones 
for the mission, so a total of 26 free dragon stones for the revamp of the event. But honestly, the thing that's most exciting for me is or are these two androids right here. So let's talk about them. Starting with the Android 17, he is an Android category leader, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 50%. His super attack will raise attack and defense and cause supreme damage. And yes, this can be stacked infinitely. And his passive is attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% and medium chance of performing a critical hit when your team has Android 18 future attacking in the same turn, launches an additional super attack when there is a hybrid Saiyans category enemy, and uh, his links, organic upgrade, android assault, twin terrors, brutal beatdown, nightmare, dismal future, and shattering the limit categories are future saga, androids, siblings bond, and androids slash cell saga. Pretty freaking insane honestly for a free to play unit, but um, the thing with him is that you kind of have to run him with the android 18 or actually any other future Android 18 will work, but uh, these two units, the 17 and the 18, do work really, really well together. So for her, she's a siblings bond category uh, leader, key plus three, HP, attack and defense, plus 50%. Super attack raises attack and defense, again, can be stacked infinitely, and causes supreme damage to enemy. Uh, her passive is attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70%, and medium chance of evading the enemy's attack, including super attacks, when your team has Android 17 future attacking in the same turn, launches an additional super attack when there's a hybrid Saiyans category enemy. So they're pretty similar overall, except for the fact that he has a medium chance of performing a critical hit, where she has a medium chance of evading enemy attacks. Her links are Organic Upgrade, uh, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Brutal Beatdown, Battlefield Diva, Dismal Future, and Shattering the Limit. And her categories are Peppy Gals, Future Saga, Androids, Sibling Spawn, Android Slash Cell Saga. So uh, both of these androids are just pretty freaking insane, I think, for free to play units. You do have to run them with either an Android 17 or 18, depending on which one you're talking about. And uh, when you do, they can do some really, really good things, right? So those are the Androids. And here's also the Awakening for the Fizz Future Gohan. Not as good, honestly, as the Androids, but still, still okay. So all types, key plus two, HP, attack and defense plus 30%, raises attack and defense for one turn only, so can't be stacked and uh, supreme damage to enemy. His passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus two, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when facing two or more enemies, high chance of performing a critical hit when there is an android category enemy. So if this wasn't, you know, two or more enemies and was just like, you know, when facing, even if it was like facing one enemy, I think it would be better, honestly, because you're facing one enemy more often than when you're facing two or more enemies. So uh, that's what kind of, you know, hampers him a little bit, but he's still like, for a free to play unit, he's still quite good. And uh, his links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, All in the Family, Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, Kamehameha, and Dismal Future. Categories, Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Android slash Shell Saga, Kamehameha, and Bond of Master and Disciple. So those are the free to play units from the revamp of the Future Saga event. It's called Fight Against Despair, right? I forgot for a second. So Fight Against Despair, and this also happens to be the best event possible for farming gravity chambers. So if you guys are running low on those, then definitely take advantage of the uh, boosted drop rate too with the Future Saga category. So from there, we also have, let's see, oh, the Battlefield uh, Units Extreme Z Awakening, basically seven units getting Extreme Z Awakenings all at once, and this is also coming out on the same day as all the other stuff, February 3rd, 2020, which is Monday. And uh, I already made a video going over all seven of these units after their Extreme Z Awakening, so if you guys wanna know exactly what they look like once they get the Awakenings, you can check out the video. Um, I'll link it in the description, I guess, for anybody that's interested. But uh, what I'll say is that they all get pretty massive upgrades before the EZAs. None of these guys, I would say, were super usable. I mean, some were better than the others. Like, for example, the Metal Cooler here, he was still a good support, but didn't do much aside from that. And the Android 13s were 
pretty bad. This Boo was pretty damn bad. This Goku was pretty freaking bad too. So yeah, they are, they are all definitely usable now. That's definitely going to be a lot of fun to awaken all these guys. Um, it is pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. I think it's something like... Uh, 20 million zenny per or something like that. I forgot the exact number, but I saw people complaining about how much zenny it actually cost to awaken all seven of them. So uh, I guess start farming up your zenny, maybe do like friend summons or start doing the stages of extreme Z battles beyond level 30 or something like that. Because yeah, these guys are pretty expensive to fully awaken. And next up we have the banner. For the future Gohan, obviously you have to talk about that because um, this is a big part, a big consideration for people when it comes to whether or not they want to summon for a unit. And as I said multiple times already, I do think most people probably will skip this banner and it's not a bad idea. Um, part of it is because this banner was just not that good when it came to JP, right? I mean, it was okay. It was decent but it was nowhere near as good as some of the other banners that we saw especially when it comes to the anniversaries and stuff like that right so um this most likely will be similar to the global banner this is the jp banner by the way and the global banner will most likely be similar but i do see them making like at least one or two changes for the units like i don't really think ui goku will be here i think what they're gonna do is include the tech future trunks maybe in the place of the ui goku to make this banner a lot more appealing i mean if they did that i personally would do a couple of summons you know like two three maybe even four or five multis i don't really know 200 stones the 300 stones is kind of my cap for yeah, for banners like this that are not that hype um so i might do like one video for it i would say for the average player two, three multis if you really want the Gohan or you want dupes in uh, the trunks if that is the case, right? If they actually make that switch. And aside from that, I mean, tech hit is still good. Obviously, he's he's, he's fine, but uh, <laughs> I, I just feel like he's a little bit underwhelming overall. And of course, not a lot of people are big fans of this guy, even though I still don't have him on my global account. So I actually wouldn't mind picking him up. Um, this Gohan is just completely... Um, I mean, he, he's actually not terrible, but he's really not good as a leader. He definitely got replaced a while ago, so you don't really need him for his leader skill. Uh, this guy is good, but of course the AGL Super Vegito gets an Extreme Z Awakening, and I think the AGL one is better. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall the banner is okay. Not terribly exciting. We'll see what kind of changes they make. I do think they'll switch out at least one of these units for something more exciting, like the tech trunks, the transforming one. So that's the banner right there. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is uh, from this post on Reddit by user Fatality93RUS. Thank you very much. This guy has a lot of post karma and comment karma. Holy crap, that's crazy. Well, uh, anyways, he made this post on uh, the Dokkan Reddit. And basically, it's just a list of the events that we know are coming back for this celebration. So we have the legendary Super Saiyan event with a farmable Videl, Kid Goten and Super Saiyan Kid Goten, and Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Trunks. The Galactic Crisis or Bojack movie story event is also coming back with the farmable Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. There's also the Dragon Ball Super Broly event coming back with uh, a bunch of farmable stuff. The uh, the Goku, and the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and the Vegeta, and the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and the base Gogeta, um, also the Frieza, and Golden Frieza, and then of course the Broly, and Super Saiyan Broly, and we're also getting a bunch of, uh, wow, there's a lot of events, holy crap, okay, so the GT Ultimate Android Saga events coming back with the GT Cell, GT Android 18, GT Final Form Frieza, and Hellfighter 17, there's also the final battle of the Tournament of Power story event with a farmable 17, 18, uh, the Lord Slug event with the Kaioken Goku, Lord Slug and Kid Gohan, Wrath of the Dragon event with the Great Saiyan Man 2, Great Saiyan Man, uh, Great Saiyan Man 1 or just Great Saiyan Man, and also Kid Trunks, the uh, Super Warrior Slam or the Bio Broly story event with a farmable Krillin and Bio Broly, 
uh, the Dragon Ball Super Future Trunks Saga event with the farmable Future Trunks and Super Saiyan Future Trunks. And finally, the Dragon Ball Super Universe 6 Saga story event is also coming back with the farmable Kaba and Super Saiyan Kaba. And uh, of course, some other stuff is coming back too, like uh, the Father Son Galicon Extreme Z Awakening, the fight against the Spear event is getting a revamp, as you guys know. And I think that's pretty much it. It. As far as this celebration goes, we've covered everything that we currently know about. There might still be some other stuff, like a new Extreme Z Awakening maybe, aside from the Battlefield ones, but uh, we'll have to see once the news drops in-game. For now, this is everything that we know about, and that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys learned something along the way, and uh, you know, only five months to go before the sixth year, or sorry, the five year anniversary on global, so just gotta stay patient guys, alright, it's gonna be worth it, the wait will be worth it. Alright, that's gonna do it for today's video, thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch, and as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.